Are you excited at all by me, Malcolm? Yes, yes, mad about you. Where the hell is Rocky Boss here? No, seriously! What are you on about? It's uh, been a pretty accurate representation of what it's like to try to have a go of trying to love someone and be loved in return, you know? Yeah, and just not necessarily be capable of it all the time. Right. <laughs> self-sacrifice it takes to be married. Mm -hmm. How it is very much a team effort, more than anything else. That it truly, it truly is a commitment and it's truly something that will test you. There are four couples, four married couples, and with their, their relationships in various stages of disarray, I would say. One couple is, is obviously more, um, well, more obviously messed up than the others. Whether they're more deeply messed up is another question, but they're more obviously messed up. There's a party. There's a party and everyone's been invited. Mm -hmm. And then Trevor and Susanna show up and ruin everything because they have a big old fight. Yes. The evenings of these other three couples are then affected by Trevor and Susanna trying to navigate their way back to each other. Mm -hmm. I think, maybe, right? Ah! <laughs> <That's it. laughs> well, anyway, the one good thing about this party... What? At least we're both lying on the same bed. Oh! You! What? Ow! I think it's a really genuine um, and, and serious look at those, despite being in a very comic, and it's sometimes a, a, a farce. Um, structure. There's definitely the quick jumps from bedroom to bedroom and I think the quickness of seeing what's going on in all these rooms is sort of where a little bit of the element, the idea of the farce comes into play because it's not a typical sort of French farce with people hiding in closets and, and jumping out but instead we're seeing three different rooms at the same time and what's going on in them and jumping from moment to moment to moment in all three of them. Ah! Oh. What? <laughs> oh. Sorry, did I wake you? It's just agony. This particular play shows almost every phase of a relationship from the beginnings, love, you know, real passion, yeah. a bit of doubt, uh, then, then total fallout. Then <laughs> Then if they survive the total fallout, mm -hmm. it's back to some kind of reformed, right, love again. Not the same old kind. What does that mean? It means that before anyone's prepared to give anybody anything, they want to make sure that the person they're giving it to isn't going to hurl it back in the face the moment that he chooses <clears throat> to lose his temper. Everybody who is in a relationship with each other in this play deserves each other. For better or for worse, <laughs> they deserve each other. In a broader sense, I think Bedroom Farce is a play about intimacy and all the different types of intimacy other than the obvious one that happens in the bedroom. It's about all kinds of different ways which you can be close to somebody or not close to somebody. And I think that's a little, to me, that's a little inside joke in the title, as I think the title might suggest one thing, but it's about all of the other things that encompass a marriage and a relationship as well. I think that's part of what's kind of the sneaky brilliance of the play. In my experience, the process of trying to love someone is so much about the, these little smaller moments that really the day-to-day -day life of, of how you make relationships work is, is, is in the details. You know, it's in these little things, these little transactions almost between between the two parties and I think those are so beautifully written and so just so true. Do you and Malcolm still... How are you and Malcolm? All of them are figuring out how to carry on with those relationships even though they are encountering difficulties, even though they can't depend on sex as the only glue that's holding things together anymore, um, which is, is the 
showcase with a couple of them. And it's interesting that not many plays just really sit down and talk about that, and this one does. My mother used to say to me, Delia, if S-E-X ever rears its ugly head, close your eyes before you see the rest of it. <laughs>